everyone, welcome back to my channel. So today's video will be all about the types of bras that I wear. Napansin ko lang na whenever I post OOTD photos, a lot of you girls slide into my DMs and ask me, what type of bra are you wearing? So before I start sharing everything, kailangan may reference tayo. So I am a 38B and I suggest you guys get fitted properly kasi ang dami sa atin na mali yung bra na suot. It is very crucial for you to know the right size of your boobs para syempre comfortable ka. This is also not a sponsored video, so yung mga bra stores na pinupuntahan ko, super duper trusted ko. Number one is La Senza, number two is Uniqlo. Let's start muna sa mga strapless tops or dresses. Ito yung mga clothes na walang straps at all. I'll be tackling two parts for this, kasi yung unang strapless natin is yung kailangan ng form. Ito yung mga super form-fitting na tops. Primary example is yung mga tube tops na binili ko sa Bali, so yun yung yellow and yung green. Whenever I wear these kasi, gusto ko may form pa rin yung boobs ko and then my lift. Yun yung pinakamahirap sa lahat kasi strapless nga siya, diba? And you still want that lift for your boobs. So the type of bra that I wear for these tube tops is something from Uniqlo. Ito yung itsura niya. This is actually a strapless bra. Meron siyang removable straps. So yung straps niya ngayon nasa drawer pa. Pero this is basically my top choice for a strapless bra from Uniqlo to guys. So, there are different colors, of course, my white, my nude, and even my black. So, lahat yung kailangan meron ka para siyang staple sa wardrobe ng every woman out there. So, kailangan meron talaga kayo nun. So, as you can see, andun pa rin yung form and yung lift ng boobs mo when you wear the Uniqlo strapless bras. Another example of a top na pwede niyong paggamitan ng bra na to is something from Love Bonito. So, ito yung favorite kong black top. Off-shoulder siya. So, it's also a perfect choice kapag may mga off-shoulder tops kayo. Pero, form-fitting pa rin yung sa boob area. So, kailangan talaga something that would really hold up your boob and would stay all day. Punta naman tayo sa mga tops na may mga thin straps. Now, this is only a personal opinion. And I personally do not like it when I see people who bear their bra straps tapos may malinipis lang yung mga straps ng actual tops nila or dresses nila i just don't really feel na okay siyang tingnan i don't like seeing yung ganong style but if that's your style it's totally fine it's just a personal preference of mine na ayaw kong kita yung bra straps that is why perfect din tong bra na to for those kinds of tops or dresses kasi andyan pa rin yung form ng boobs mo, naka-lift pa rin siya, and wala tayo nakikitang bra strap. A perfect example is this American Eagle top. So as you can see, sobrang nipis ng straps niya. And underneath, I'm wearing the unique low bra. And as you can see, okay pa rin yung form niya. This one naman, sobrang nipis talaga ng straps niya. So super duper unsightly kapag magpapakita ka ng bra strap dyan. So kailangan talaga strapless bra for this one. This top is from H&M. Another example is this mustard top from Zara. So as you can see, sobrang nipis talaga. So kailangan walang nakikitang straps unless naman na may ipapatong ka over. Kunwari magbe-blazer ka or magka-cardigan ka, okay lang. Kasi di ba matakpan mo yung bra strap mo. So okay lang yun. Up next naman, we have the nipple tapes or pads or even the silicone pads. I actually use two different types, guys. So, ito muna yung nipple silicone pads. So, ito yung itura niya. So, kinocover lang niya yung nipular, nipular, nip, nipple area. And I don't really know kung saan ko siya nabili or nakuha. Pero I'm pretty sure na kaya na siyang hanapin anywhere. Kasi naman, I mean, kahit saan, makakahanap kayo ng ganito. So, again, these types cover your nipple area lang. And of course, the Philippines is such a conservative country hindi tayo kasing liberated ng mga ibang bansa. Sa ibang bansa kasi kahit na bakat, okay lang. Pero in the Philippines, that would be such a big deal talaga. So these will really help if ever you're wearing something na ayaw mong bakat yung nipples mo. This one naman covers a larger portion of your boobs and meron siyang closure sa gitna. And sabi nila kasi it really pushes your boobs together like that daw. But since I am a 38B, syempre kailangan ko pa rin talaga yung lift ng bonggang bongga. So, hindi naman sobrang lift yung nabibigay sa akin ito kasi nga stick on type lang siya. As you can see, stick on type. So, impossible din na ma-lift niya ng bonggang bongga. I think for smaller boobs, it would work. Pero, I don't know, let me know in the comment box down below if nakagamit ba kayo na ganito and if you have smaller boobs, kung gumana ba siya, nag-lift ba siya. Pero, ang maganda dito, it gives you a nice form for your boobs. So, if you wear it like that, Alam mo yun, maganda yung form niya. Yun yung nabibigay niya sa akin. A little bit of warning lang, I remember myself using these and then nag-clubbing kami and sobrang pawis na pawis ako and then these ones slid down. 
as in sa sobrang pawis. Syempre, ano siya eh, stick on type lang siya. So, if ever it comes into contact with too much sweat, malamang matanggal siya, di ba? So, these are okay naman for like everyday use lang, yung mga ganun lang. Pero if intense yung activity, like talagang pawisan, I suggest you use something na mas bongga yung stick quality niya. Kasi these ones will really slide talaga kapag bonggang-bonggang pagpapawis ang gagawin mo. Unang example ko is this top from American Eagle again. As you can see, tube top siya, pero flowy. So, hindi talaga na-accentuate yung form ng boobs mo dito. So, perfectly safe to use the nipple silicone pads lang. Kasi, ang habol mo lang naman is hindi bumukat yung nipples mo. So, these are perfect. And again, flowy top siya. So, wala kang problema dyan. Another example is this Love Bonita top. So, as you can see, ang ganda ng detail niya sa likod, di ba? And, you can actually use the nipple tapes lang or nipple pads lang. Kasi, again, flowy yung harap niya. And, hindi mo kailangan ma-accentuate yung form ng boobs mo dito. Kasi nga, very flowy siya. Di ba? Another example is my favorite dress from Cotton On. So as you can see, straight dress lang siya, very casual. Hindi mo talaga kailangan ma-accentuate yung form ng boobs mo. So okay na okay din to use the nipple pads. Sobrang comfortable na ito kasi girl, you feel like free ka lang. Parang free lang yung boobs mo and very press ko siya. So again, isipin nyo lang if ever the top or dress you're wearing is something na kailangan mo ng form for your boobs. Kasi kapag kailangan ng form, use this type of bra. Pero pag hindi naman kailangan and flowy naman yung top, wala naman masyadong hanash, ito na lang yung gamitin mo. Punta naman tayo sa everyday bras. So there are also two different types that I wear. One is walang wire. Number two is an underwire bra. So dun muna tayo sa mga walang wire. So actually, I've read a lot of articles na sinasabi nila masama daw yung underwire for everyday. Actually, talaga masama naman talaga siya kasi madami tayong lymph nodes under our boobs. And minsan kapag sobrang naiipit yon, of course, it's not good for your body, di ba? So minsan, I would opt to use something na very, very walang wire. So bongga rin yun, walang wire. And mas comfortable siya, di ba? So ang pinaka-top choice ko for yung mga bras na walang wire, something from Uniqlo again. So th this comes in other colors as well. My pink, my nude, my white, iba-ibang klase. So I have the black one. So as you can see, may form pa rin siya. May form pa rin naman. And wala siyang wire dito sa ilalim. Ayan. TMI to, pero sa lahat ng mga babaeng nanonood dyan, you all know kapag PMS tayo, ang sakit ng boobs natin. Yung feeling mo na parang mamamatay ka sa sakit kasi nga sobrang magang-maga siya and all of that PMS stuff. So I really opt to use yung mga bras na ganito whenever... I'm experiencing PMS kasi nga very comfortable and hindi siya masakit. Kasi usually kapag masakit na nga yung boobs mo and then nag-underwire ka pa lalo, it's not comfortable, girl. Alam niyo yan. So, kailangan wala tayong wire. So, yan yung isang everyday bra ko from Uniqlo. The second type naman is of course the underwire bra and it is what I'm wearing right now. So, as you can see, it has the lift, it has the form, and it has the support. Ayan, kasi may straps siya, di ba? So, yung ibang underwire bra, iba yung mga straps nila. Actually, I won't tackle na yung mga removable straps kasi yung iba, di ba, pwede mo siyang i-X, pwede mo siyang i-one strap. Very self-explanatory na yun. So, this one is from La Senza, another one of the top bra places that I really buy from. Kasi La Senza, number one, okay talaga yung mga sizes nila. Number two, the quality is amazing. I used to buy from Bench. I used to be aware of Bench. Pero kasi I find that yung Bench bras, after a few um, washes, nasisira siya. So quality-wise, I really choose La Senza over Bench. So, kayo naman yung bahala kung gusto niya may wire or walang wire. So, when it comes naman sa mga underwire, very perfect to sa mga tight-fitting tops. For example, I have this tight-fitting top from Uniqlo. So, yung mga yun, yung mga tops na talagang form-fitting sa taas. So, kailangan talaga andun yung form ng boobs mo. This is just my personal opinion. And I think na sobrang perfect tong bra na to for these types of tops. Example number two is this top that I'm wearing right now. It is a see-through top. So, you might wonder, anong bra ba yung kailangan kong suotin kapag see-through yung top ko? So, ang perfect choice is, of course, a black bra. So, this is a perfect example for that. So, whenever I wear something na see-through, gusto ko black din yung bra, okay pa rin siya. Parang tugma pa rin sa outfit. So, super okay yon. Isa pang sobrang tinatanong sa akin is, ano yung bra na ginagamit ko kapag 
cleavage bearing yung top ko. So this is also one of my favorite tops na cleavage bearing, pero hindi super OA na cleavage. So this is from Warehouse. Ito yung itsura niya. Ito yung black na top na yan. And as you can see, ang ganda ng form ng boobs mo kapag underwire kasi andun nga talaga yung support, yung form, and talagang minilift niya yung boobs mo. And how you do it, kailangan ginaganun mo yung boobs mo like that. And then, you adjust the straps. Kailangan sakto yung um, sikip niya. Hindi super sikip, hindi super luwag. If ever naman you have tops na sobrang baba ng cleavage area naman, you can also use the same La Senza bra kasi mababa yung ano niya, yung dito niya, yung area niya dito. As you can see here, I'm wearing something na super duper cleavage bearing. Ito yung white top from the brand Forever 21. So this is what it looks like. Pero I suggest you guys, if ever you're gonna wear something na sobrang low cleavage bearing talaga, I suggest you tape your clothes to your bra. So use double-sided adhesive tapes. So I usually put it dun sa side na yun, here and even here and even down here. So it tape niyan together para kahit na mababa siya, nakadikit pa rin yung top mo sa bra mo. So this is one hack that I use whenever I wear these types of tops. So those are the types of bras that I wear for different outfits. I hope you guys enjoyed watching this video and I hope it helped you out. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you in the next video. Bye!